let's say I've got one of these advanced wheels and it's worn down into a, a rounded shape here, a rounded profile, and I want, I need it to be flat. Uh, I could take that piece off and thread on another one. So that takes time if I'm in a hurry and you happen to have one of these grinding blocks here. These are used for chewing wheels with you just quickly put it up there. And now I've got a nice flat edge again. Which is a lot better. You don't get divots in your work if you're doing something that you need it to be flat. So it saves you a little time. It doesn't really cost you much. Sandy old tip if you use these little things. Uh, they go on the end of these screw arbors. And I'm constantly having problems as I'm working on the ring. Eventually what seems to happen is they get loose. It doesn't seem to take very long either. Maybe one or two rings. Ah, there you go. Fell right off. And that's because over time these threads just get worn out and the insides of these holes right here are cut so big that you don't really get a lot of bite on there. So here's what I do. I've got an old worn out drill bit here. It's quite a bit smaller than the holes that these come with. Thread that onto my arbor here. And turn on my machine. Be careful about this part. So what you want to do is just take the whole end Slide it onto the drill bit, make sure your hand is clear, and just slowly push it on through. So now you've got the original hole here, and a much smaller hole at this end. Just then I'll take my drill bit out, careful it's hot. Put the threaded thing back in and thread it on with a small end. Be careful, you want to push towards the backstop of the mandrel and make sure it's actually threading forward and you're not just stripping out the inside. And now, once you get to the end, stop and make sure you don't keep threading it, otherwise you're just gonna tear the threads out of the inside that you've just created. Now, this will last, geez, until basically there's nothing left because uh, it's just on there so much tighter than before. So now I can sit here, cross my ring, and I can put a lot of pressure on it, even on the ends right here. And I don't have to worry nearly as much about it tearing the, uh, the little cylinder off here. And so I get a lot more life out of these things where before I had to check these things, you know, every 10 minutes, and it was just like, this is just useless. So. That's uh, something that maybe some of you can use. And this set of tips. Uh, these are um, lollipop sticks. Uh, as many of you know, there's a couple of supply companies out there that like to send lollipops with your orders. So I'm not really into the sugar, but I found a use for the sticks. And uh, what you can do is if you open up the chucks here, uh, your handpiece about yay far and you can just slide one of these in here I usually choke up on it pretty far because they're just made out of paper you know so if you have too much sticking out they'll bend and then you just apply a little bit of bobbing compound and now you've got something that'll actually put a nice little polish right on the head of like say a small micro bezel or a larger prong or if you're trying to polish granulation or little droplets that you've added to your work. I have a bunch of these but I find that most often what happens is you get one that you put into a dish or I guess it would be a convex and another one that is concave or pointed which you can use to kind of go around things or get into little divots and since they're disposable and you get them for free most of the time anyways, you can, you know, work them in and if you, you know, mess one up or something, you can just break it in half and use again. Uh, things like that. And uh, they work on Tripoli and Polishing Compound too.